Bear Squad, happy Wednesday. What is everyone doing? This is PB here, the big old polar bear. We are getting ready to service our entire warehouse location. This is a seven day service. I'm trying to rotate everything out in weeks. Once we get more locations out, we'll start doing, uh, we'll start spreading some of these slower locations out. Although this isn't, this is not a super slow location. These guys do pretty solid. So we're going to load up what we have back here. We're using the uh, newer method. Uh, these are, those are things that came in the mail from a Patreon. Thank you so much. You know who you are. Uh, those are the uh, grandma's cookies. Super, super cool. Um, I thought that they were going to be in a bag, but I mean, they're in a bag, but it's like big cookies. <laughs> So, I'm about to get a little shell-shocked here. Bam! Things like empty. It's like nothing in the snack machine. Just kind of shocked to see uh, how much product had gone from the snack machine. Granted, uh, we're, running, we're running everything out anyways. Um, I'll move product around. If you guys have been watching for a longer period of time, you've probably noticed that I put a case in there and move the case around until the whole case is gone. It uh, makes a pretty good difference. Um, only in the slower locations am I doing this. I don't think I'm going to wind up doing this in uh, any of the heavier locations. Or I have a location now that we're going to be visiting every two days or every day. We'll find out. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to be every day. <laughs> well. I hope it's every other day. That'd be great. So first we're going to crack into this soda machine. I just want to see what we need. Uh, Dr. Pepper. I'm not sure if we just haven't filled it in a while or what it is, but it needs to get filled pretty bad. We can probably fit two and a half cases in there right now. So this machine, I think this machine's doing maybe a hundred bucks a month right now. A hundred and a half a month, something like that. Uh, this is a tire shop though, and uh, tire season is right around the corner. I'm really excited about that. We're counting up the Mountain Dew. Uh, once we got done with this location, I wound up going to Walmart and uh, we bought some product. I got uh, Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper. I didn't get any Barks root beer. Probably should have. Um, we got Minute Maid lemonade, which we definitely needed. I gotta order a case of water here soon. I'm actually uh, gonna order a case of water for every location and then three cases for the Claremont Subaru location. I might do three cases for the new location too. I can't wait to get footage um, of that location. It's gonna be great. You guys are gonna love it. It's uh, working on the Minute Maid lemonade there. Moving into what's back there? That's ginger ale. So ginger ale is a seasonal thing up here. It seems like uh, seems like in the winter time, ginger ale really does its really gets to work. People get sick, and then all of a sudden they get a whole bunch of ginger ale. This is really funny. This is wicked funny. So that's the 50 cent column right there where I just put drinks I don't uh, don't do anything with anymore put those in there and uh, I put all those up there so I could count the surge in the back and we're gonna put the surge in and I, uh, <laughs> I totally forgot to put them back you'll see you'll see when we get to the end of it I was I thought it was kind of funny that uh, <laughs> I forgot to put them back so we're chit-chatting with the guys a little bit put the surge in seeing that we've just moved everything to put it in there that's, uh, that's actually all I have for this location. Um, we're going to pull, obviously, we're pulling cash out. And we're going to buy more product. Um, I've always just got product as I needed it, but I think we might be at a point now where each machine should have its own inventory in the, in the storage unit, which I'll talk a lot more about on the collection video. Uh, you'll see Friday. If I remember to, I'll put a little 
thing up in the corner for you. But uh, this is it. This is me doing it right here. Um, putting the Pepsi in there. <laughs> putting the Pepsi in there and I uh, totally spaced on putting the stuff back. I even looked at it for a second, which is even funnier. <laughs> So I completely fill this with Pepsi, and you can see the Canada Dry up top that I'm not putting back in. Eventually I gotta put that back in, but we gotta try to make our money back on what we buy, right? This is probably the only location I will ever do that with. Here I am entering it into Ventsoft. <laughs> Man, that's nuts. I went the whole nine yards with it. I just noticed. There it is. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> you can see me do the double take and everything. I was like, did I really just do that? But it's all good. Uh, do we have anything else we can put in there? Nope, not really. So we're probably going to clean it up, film the, uh, film the collection real quick, and then move on to the snack machine at this point. I was in and out of this location pretty quick. Um, I like it when that happens. You get in and out fast. So we're gonna do some vlogging real quick. I need to get one of those uh, little handheld things for this camera. It's a beast of a camera. <laughs> so I'm not sure, did I? have the helmet cam on when I did this? Yes I did. This was so difficult to film. I was not sure how to do this. <laughs> so I just kind of plopped it there. And... Oh yeah that's the uh, that's the money from the last collection. And we're gonna fold it in half that way I don't count it with this collection. I think I'm gonna get like an envelope or something. Uh, just to just to separate what's what was in there and what is going to be in there from now on or whatever until I count it anyways because I take it out to the van to count it now and that's the difference there so many turns bam dunsies all right, moving on to the snack machine. Bam, gonna open the sucker up. Oh, I should have cleaned it. I didn't realize it was that dirty. Look at it. You. This thing's totally empty. And I don't have a whole lot of product to put in it right now. After we left here, I wound up going to buy a box of chips for this place and we'll put it in next week. But, uh, these guys hammered through a lot of product in a week's time. I think they just like seeing the coils empty. I've noticed that I sell more when the coils are almost empty versus when the coils are full because they'll buy the stuff that's almost empty just to empty a coil out. And uh, they kind of, so it's cool because they kind of brag about how they emptied the coils out. Um, when I come in there to service it. And I think they do it just to do that. So they'll buy whatever's almost empty. It's, I don't know, it's funny. I like, I think it's great, I love it. Hopefully that lonely classic bag of chips will go away. That's the last three ounce bag that I have. I no longer carry three ounce bags at all. Got the good old Kit Kats working their way up. Skittles, caramel M&Ms, lots of stuff. Twix, only two left. I'll be breaking that down soon. We gotta go start buying product for the snack machine. Other than uh, product other than the chips. So I'm going to build up an inventory for each location 
um, or not each location, I keep saying each location, I'm going to build up an inventory for each machine and the machine is going to build the inventory. Uh, I've done this in the past and I did it a little bit differently but uh, now we're going to have designated product that is like four designated machines. The soda bottles or the soda cans and stuff like that have been scribbling the name that it goes to. VIP, Tire Warehouse, wherever it's going to go. I think the cookies and, yeah, cookies and cream is what we're going to double up in that column there. Bring it to the front. I'm trying to do two things at once. <laughs> I gotta enter all the product in and then empty it and then fill it. It's kind of a complicated process. It adds adds a bit of time to the uh, to the whole thing. Bam! There's that. And here's what we got left here. So I'm just gonna take these two. And we're going to start moving stuff around to make the machine look a little more presentable. Is that, is that what we would call it? Possibly. All right, so we're going to move those chips around. We're going to move this bag of chips over here, put it over there. We'll just put that right back there. I forgot that that was the 50 cent column. Leave that the way it is. We have some expired product that I didn't realize we had that we'll put in that column. And now we're going to use all of the cookies. I'm so glad. <laughs> I am so glad you sent me these cookies, bro. Because <laughs> I use a crap ton of them in this video. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how well they sell um, next week. You know what's interesting? I'm curious. I want, I want you guys to answer this in the comments. Do you swap your um, swap out what you have in your machine often? Do you change it up? Because I feel like feel like if you change it up every now and again, people like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. Just every now and again, anyways. Whenever something comes in that's available at BJ's that I like to sell, I'll buy it. The uh, I really like selling the popcorners, but they don't sell quite as well as I uh, hoped they would. I like selling them because they've got wicked, wicked long expiration times. Although now that we've solved the expiration problem, that's not really a big deal anymore. It is kind of a big deal with the location I just got. We'll, we'll talk about that in another video. I'm overly excited about that. Should really <laughs> get a hold off. I gotta wait. All right, so we've almost got the machine full up. We've still gotta fill up that one last column there. I just hiccuped. All right, I'm gonna go through, and now we're just gonna modify everything in Vensoft so it reflects properly. I'm, I haven't actually put these in Vensoft because they were sent to me, so I'm calling them Famous Amos Cookies even though they're grandma's cookies. <laughs> but that is, uh, those are totally different. I'm really curious to see how well they sell. They might actually sell pretty good. If they do, I'll probably get an account with uh, Sam's Club. Or maybe I can get them on Amazon or something. I could potentially do that too. Either way, it's a win-win scenario, right? Okay, so I'm not sure which shelf I'm on. I think I'm on the second shelf up right now. Because I keep looking up there. <laughs> I've gotten really fast with entering the information in there. Um, I was at this location in the entirety of uh, 36 minutes, which is much faster than normal. 
Usually this location is a little over an hour. I almost put that in upside down. I actually think I put some stuff in backwards. Oh no, I didn't change that label. That label is supposed to be 50 cents. Whoops. Oh well. I don't think people are going to complain about not getting 5 cents yet. They might later. Pop those suckers right in there. Those things actually sold really well. At, I mean, they sold really well at 50 cents. That's not, <laughs> that's not really the best margin. So that thing's all clean up, so I think it's about time for us to collect on this machine. This is one of the few locations where the snack machine actually makes more than the soda machine. The snack machine pulls some, pulls some money. So we're gonna get the vlogging camera out. a little bit take a look at it get everything done switching it around and now we're gonna pull stupid money out of there bam look at that whoa it's pretty good for seven days it's not bad now I gotta figure out how to film it <laughs> that's always the fun part is trying to figure out how to film it We have money in here from last time still. We gotta fold that in half. Actually, I'm gonna pull it out and put it off to the side while we do this. <laughs> Camera's going everywhere. All right, and it looks like we've about got it. We're gonna be able to pull it off. Bam, done. Good to go. Good to lock the machine up and get out of there, I think. I do believe. A little bit of vlogging and out of there. I think I like whispered there because there was someone right behind me. Any of my YouTuber friends, do you get weirded out when someone is standing right or sitting right behind you and you're trying to vlog? <laughs> it weirds me out so much. <laughs> Although I guess it shouldn't. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. We're going to come ca check this guy out. This guy is not doing well. The, the machine just, I'm not sure if people don't see it or, that's the same 75 cents that I put in it two weeks ago. I think we're gonna try putting it in the Hyundai location, see if it makes any sort of difference. I'm not sure if it will or not, but. There's also a K-Cup machine that uh, I wanna try there. It stinks because the Hyundai location is so slow that it's really hard to tell if something works or not. If something makes money at that location, it'll make a lot of money everywhere else. <laughs> there you go. Put the van back together. This system's working really well. I'm really happy with the way this system works out. You can tell that this was a cleaning van before because <laughs> it's not... All the white stuff in the van is like uh, bleach stains. Or like, uh, I think it's called Firestorm that they were using. But uh, it looks like that's about it, guys. Uh, Bear Squad, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. There are a couple of videos on the screen if you want to check one of those out and go for it. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, there should be a little circle. You can click that and subscribe. Thank you guys so much again. Remember to love life, live your dreams. Peace out, Bear Squad.